guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a pedicure transformation on my feet. Whispering around the corner, I just thought I would do something for myself to make my toenails look great. So with that, let's get right into the video. So this is what my nails are looking like right now. The first thing I'm going to do is take cotton and acetone and remove the old nail polish. This is just regular nail polish. Then I'm going to add a drop of soap into a small bucket, fill it up with some warm water and just soak my feet in that for a few minutes. And what this will do is soften up the skin around my nails and the toenails itself so the toenails are easier to cut and the cuticles easier to push back. And of course this just feels really nice. I'm now going to take my feet out of the water and I'm going to take some cuticle remover here. This one's from C&D and I'm going to apply it to the first foot and kind of rub it around with my finger. And while that's soaking, I'm going to clip my toenails and you can use a nail clipper. I'm actually going to use nippers though. So I'm just basically going to clip straight across the top. And then I'm going to use a file to refine the line and round out the edges just a little bit. Now I'm going to get a cuticle pusher and I'm going to use this metal one that has the little spoon shaped tool on the end called a curette. I do find this tool very helpful for pedicures. So I'm going to just use the cuticle pusher end and just push back gently along the cuticles, scraping off the dead skin that was dissolved. And as I go, just wiping off any residue on a paper towel. Then I'm going to use the curette and use it to scoop up the dead skin from under the nail plate. Then I'm going to wash off this foot and make sure I get all that cuticle remover off. And since I do have this, I thought it would be fun just to do a salt scrub for myself. So this is just another one from the C&D kit I got. This one is kind of abrasive, but it feels really nice and it also smells really nice too. I'm also going to smooth any calluses I might have on my feet. Now it's time for a few finishing touches to prepare the nail plate for nail polish. The first thing I'm going to do is use a buffing block and smooth out the surface. Then I'm going to use my cuticle nippers and just nip any dead skin that I could not get off with the cuticle pusher. And I just find that you can sometimes get more the second time around, so feel free to take out the pusher and use it to get out any last bits of dead skin or cuticle that you can find. All right, so I may have put in the thumbnail or in the title of this video that I'm going to be doing a gel pedicure instead of regular polish. I just want something a little bit more durable than what I had last time. So I'm first going to cleanse the nail plate with a nail plate cleanser. C&D does have one called Scrub Fresh and I'm just going to use a clean manicure brush and just use that to scrub the nail plate. You could also use cotton if you like, but I just like doing it this way. That way there are no shreds or pieces of cotton strings left. Now here are the gel products I'm going to be using. I have this light pink from Madame Glam called Baby Pink, and then I have their top coat as well. I don't have their base coat at the moment, so I'm going to be using the one from Drizzle Beauty. So the first step after making sure the nail plate is cleansed and dehydrated, I'm going to apply a thin layer of this base coat, and then I'm going to cure it for 30 seconds in my UV LED lamp. So after the base coat is cured, I'm then going to make sure I shake up the gel polish pretty well and then just apply this. I think pink always looks like a cute color for pedicures and I hadn't done one before so I thought I would give that a try and especially since spring is here. All right, so applying the first coat of gel, I'm just starting off by applying it on the big toe just because I know I'm going to need the most amount of polish on that one. And then I'll move to the smaller toes. And I do have my little acetone pumper and a cleanup brush handy so that right before I cure, I can just wipe off that gel polish from the skin that I missed, which for me is almost inevitable. I do want to try to cover every part of the nail plate I can, so that usually ends up with some of it spilling. But that's no problem because it cleans off very easily. And also, you'll see me do this on the big toes. I just hold the brush backwards and just kind of scrub up and down at the tip of the nail to try to get some of the polish on the tip of the nail, and it's kind of hard to do. And I learned this technique, and it's great for capping the free edge on nails that are pretty short.
So after I cured both feet, it does look like this color needs a second coat. And I decided to throw a third coat onto the two big toes. Okay, so now I want to do some nail arty type of stuff on the nails. So I got these from She Modern actually. They are uh, little water slide decals. So I've seen before when people did like pink nails and they had like these silver lines. So I thought I would do that. So at first I did a double row of the stripes on the big toe and then a smaller stripe on one of the other toes, but I decided I didn't like the double stripe look. So I cut the piece in half and I liked it much better with one line. And then I was like, well, what can I do with this other line? I just randomly placed it vertically on the nail on one side and instantly became obsessed. So I decided to put it there and cut it to fit. And then after they've had a minute or so to dry, I'm going to top coat them. This is Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Coat. I'm just going to apply this and then cure for 30 seconds. All right, so after all that, I am going to put some cuticle oil. Putting cuticle oil on my toenails isn't really part of my daily routine, but if you find that would help you, you can totally go ahead and do that. I do use this oil on my fingernails every night though, and I find it does help make my cuticles nice and moisturized and not dry. After that, I'm just going to massage the oil in. And there is my finished pedicure for today. I really love the color I chose here. And I feel like these silver lines just really upped the look a bit. Of course, if you don't have a water slide decal with a line like this, there's lots of different ways you can create a line. You can try using a liner brush. You can use striping tape to help you make a good line. Or you could use a bit of colored striping tape and actually lay that down as the line itself. But I just thought this was a super cute color and perfect for stepping into spring. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed watching how I do my pedicures at home. I will leave in the description links of the different products that I used in case you're interested in checking them out. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you next Wednesday. Feel free to subscribe to my channel if you're not already for videos every Wednesday and have a magical day.